I mixed uh, uh, another blue in three different ways and now I'm going to paint it and I'm doing the same thing. Oh. Uh, actually I'll start with the dark just to be so you can see what's going on better on the camera. I'm going to take my skyline and run a little bit crooked. Not bad though. I make it very deep here. How does that look? Pretty deep, huh? And I'm going to bring it down, try to fill in all the little holes in the... If you have trouble pulling a line, you can put a ruler on it, which I can, I'm going to grab in a minute. You don't have to be like perfect artist like everybody thinks you have to be, right? There's many ways to do it. You can take another board and just run a line like this, like, right? And run a line like that underneath it, or you can take a ruler. Okay. Now I got my dark blue here, looking good. I got a little bit of a, a funny line up here, which I'm trying to correct. There we go. For uh, this purposes, it's quite good enough to demo. There's my blue wiper out, brush wipe it out a bit. You don't want to track all your blue into your mid blues. Light blue in here, right? Light blue, mix it in. Oops, my pain. There we go. Don't worry about it too much again. And then you're going to go to white down here. The next one's going to be white. I just got to clean my brush and I'm going to put white down to about here. And the rest is going to be beach. Okay. So I'll just hang on a second, clean my brush. And I've got my white. I'm just putting a whole pile on this flat brush here and kind of straight streaking it along here, like that. There we go. That's that done, really. You don't really want to go much more. Now let's show you the uh, little trick on this. Uh, I'm going to clean this knife off so there's nothing on it. Now, what you want to do, ooh, there's a little bit of blue on there still somewhere. What you want to do is take your white, right, right, and a little bit of, um, now I've taken my white and I've just put a drop of the um, oil 50-50, the pre-mix we had, just one drop, and put it in my white here and I'm going to mix it up, right. Right, so it's just a little bit looser. You take your knife and you wipe it totally clean, the blade clean, and then you take it at a 45, so it's an angle up, and you run a little bit of white just on the edge of the blade. And when you come in here, and you want to run your little wave, you just run the blade along, like that. Right, and give a guess what you get. Right? Now sometimes the blue will come on the blade and you'll have to wipe and do it again. I wiped it again now. All right, we're going to do it again. Maybe a little heavier. Oh, wish this thing would move. There you go. A little heavier. Another one here. Look at that. Blue on the blade, see? Want to wipe? Little blade, do it again. There's the wave. And we're going to go again, wipe. Important to wipe because you, you won't get the effect. You know, the blue will start coming with my set fell off there. We're going to do a little bit of a, a white ear. And a white ear. Now we're getting it. Bit of blue on the blade, wipe my blade again there every time. Try to get some of the clean white off. Put a blade in here. Bit of a wave in here. Right? Pull them a bit. Pull your knife down a little bit sometimes. There she is. There's some waves. Isn't that lovely? Now, I didn't pull down very much in the beginning. So I wanted to show you another technique. You can take your um, fan brush and just do a little pull, light touch on them. And it'll give you like little wave effects. Just pull them down a bit. Yeah, make sure your brush is fairly clean. 
pull down those waves a bit. And you know, you can do it whichever way you want, right? I can pull that one down a bit because that's a big wave, man. Right, there we go. Give you a feeling of how the waves are done. I'm just going to show you the uh, blade coming into this here. And you know, a little pull down technique again. You take it and you pull down. And you're going to have your waves coming into the shore a bit, right? Right? There you go. Okay, we have our waves come in. And we're going to do the beach next, I think. I want to put a little bit more wave in here. Painting's a bit dead here. Pull it down a bit. I mean, that's pretty good. That's just the basics. You can take a brush and clean up a little bit sometimes. On the back of the wave, you like take the dark blue and you just clean up some lines that may have jumped up. If you don't like them, you know. That gives the uh, wave a bit of an edge. Anyways, there's your C. We're going to do the beach next. It's basically uh, with getting the thin, going upstairs and getting stuff. We've been only 25 minutes of painting this so far. So in 25 minutes, we have this far. Basically, in the sky, I use a Carillion blue hue, which is the sharp light blue in the top, the, the dark, and then I added white to make the medium and then painted white at the bottom and mixed it in. So we got the, the three colors out of that. And then for the C, I'm finding the tallow blue is the uh, better um, color to use as a contrast, not using the same blue and it's mixed with white and brought down again so that the front of this beach area is white but the skyline's dark blue to create the contrast and the depth. We're gonna go do the beach next.